Okay, we're going to show you the drainage of a subungual hematoma, which is basically a blood blister under the toenail. These often um, develop after a long distance run, like a marathon, or playing basketball, or tennis. So I've got my supplies here. I've got uh, an alcohol pad and an 18 gauge needle. And we'll show you the technique for drilling a hole, which allows the blood to come out from underneath the nail. So we'll put a little alcohol on it, clean it off here, and you can see the dark blue purplish appearance underneath this nail here, meaning there's a collection of blood. So we'll take our needle and use it like a drill. Go towards the center of the nail, and we will drill back and forth. Don't have to put a lot of force on it. It will gradually make a hole, and you'll know that you're below the nail when you see blood coming out. And this is a painless procedure as long as you don't jab into the nail bed because the nail does not have nerves. So I'm not putting much pressure here. Now sometimes if you do this, there we go, too late in the procedure or too, too late after it occurred, the blood will be dried and you really won't get any significant blood. So now you can see that the blood's easily coming out here. That's relieving the pressure of the blood building up underneath the nail. Okay. Now sometimes you can also get a collection of blood underneath the um, tip of the uh, toe and have to also make a little hole at that point. And you can you want to keep this from clotting by uh, using cleaning it with some peroxide occasionally over the next day or two because it will seal up, clot off, and then you can still have more blood being built up and more pressure. Now this will quickly relieve the throbbing sensation that the toenail has. You can see it's still draining. A lot of pressure has built up underneath there. I'm also pushing a little bit above and below to help allow the blood to seep out. 